time to talk about my fourth full week at Cheeseman. Coming up. This was a short week. I left on Sunday and I was back on Wednesday evening so I could go home to be with the family for Christmas. Even being a short week, still came out pretty well pay-wise. Let's check it out. I left the house on Sunday with a load that I had already picked up in Greer. And it's going to Pensacola, Florida, but I'm only going to make it to Alabama, where I'll spend the night in a rest area. There's just nowhere to park in Pensacola. If you got to pass through Atlanta, Sunday's the day to do it. Traffic was easy, zipped right through. When doing my route planning, I picked the last rest area that would be on my path, and it happens to be in Alabama. There were no closer truck stops or other parking places that would be close to Pensacola. If you know of any good parking places, you can always put them down in the comments below, and I'll look them up for future trips down there. One neat thing is this rest area did not fill up over the whole night. It still had parking places in the morning. This is the rest area at Castleberry, Alabama. Monday, I did my delivery at two places in Pensacola, Florida, before heading north to go to Gainesville, Georgia. The delivery at the first place was complicated by a very tight yard with a lot of things stored in the yard itself. This makes for a tight area to turn and park. Going to the second delivery, it looked like I was going down a residential street to get to the warehouse. Fortunately, once I got to the warehouse, there was plenty of room to do the turnaround and a blindside back.
plan to stay at Brazelton, Georgia Pilot. It's a pretty tight pilot, and the reserved parking places are not always the best parking places. Due to people parking in no parking zones, it makes it a lot more difficult to make the back into one of the last reserved spaces that was available. The key to a tight backing is just take it slow. Tuesday was a lot of short running around. I picked up from Gainesville, Georgia, ran that to Greenville, South Carolina. The first stop on my multi-stop load that I picked up from Greer after that stopped at Ladson, South Carolina. The receiver's hours were 8 to 5. This meant I would need to overnight at the receiver to be able to be the first person unloaded in the morning. This seemed to be the week for tight blindside backs. After my overnight break, it was time to be unloaded at Ladson, South Carolina. I went on to two more deliveries in Florence, South Carolina. Every situation, we make different decisions about what we're going to do. Every receiver is different. The maneuvers we have to make to get to the docks are different. In this particular case, after checking in at the front of the building, the receiver determined that I could not dock at the front of the building because of my 53-foot trailer. I would be in the road. They wanted me to go to the back of the building. To get from the front to the back, I had to decide, did I want to back out onto the roadway or did I want to execute a U-turn? Due to the tight turning radius on this truck, I made the decision to do the U-turn. They had moved a box truck out of the hole that they wanted me to back into. After quickly being unloaded, it was time to head back to Greer where I will pick up the load that I'm going to take home with me and deliver after the holidays. This looks like a fun four-stop load. The first delivery is Monday morning in New Orleans. The second stop is in Houston. Third stop is in San Antonio. And the last stop is in Laredo, Texas. This multi-stop load is all pallet jacks and electric forklifts. And while knocking those blocks out is a pain in the butt, it does result in handling pay. When you live in a small town, that last mile is always one of the greatest miles. You know you're home, you know it's been another successful run, and you're going to get to spend the weekend with the family. This is probably the last time I come in and get to see the Christmas lights because they're all going to be gone. And the post office on the right. And there's the City Hall on the left. And we're coming to the five-way stop. It's actually a five-way, not a four-way. And this is one of the rare times there's a car coming from every direction. And yes, like almost every other small town in the South, we have a Dollar General. I think they just plant a seed and those things pop right up. I had actually thought about going to work for a company that delivers to Dollar Generals. Talk about some tough backing situations. I don't think I've ever seen a Dollar General that has a loading dock. And those tight parking places, that's just looking to improve your driving skills. Yes, as a courtesy, I allowed more vehicles to go than probably necessary. But that's because after I cross the railroad tracks, I'm going to be making a turn and I prefer to have as few vehicles behind me as possible. Okay, it's time to look at the compensation. we are only two runs on this particular trip. Total of 1,278 miles for a compensation of $777 or 60.7 cents per mile. Not too bad. Okay, and I want to say thank you for watching, subscribing, and following along. And from my family to yours, have a happy holidays or a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you in the next year.